how to blur type text in Photoshop. Well, I've got an image here and I've got some, I've just created some type already, so uh, just using the type tool. Just and you can see it's a layer, just standard layer. Go to the filter menu and then blur and use obviously one of the blurs there, Gaussian blur I'm going to use, convert to smart object. So once you've actually done that, you could of course rasterize as well, but you can then modify the radius. And there it is, it's simple, just blurred, click OK. Now you can see it's a layer, so over here in layers, you can find that in the window menu, and you just click on that smart filters there, and you can bring up a mask, properties, etc. And what you can do, you can actually manipulate that mask. You can actually just add to that, just gradients or maybe shapes, etc. You can just apply effects, and you can blur certain parts of the text. I'm just going to change the gradient there, and you can apply it again, and you'll see the different design that's in the actual, you can clear it down, you can actually set it back, just go to edit and fill, put it back to white, and then you just got the complete blur there as before. And again, that's so how you can just quickly add, say maybe black as a shape, just a rectangle, and then just let one part of it clear, the rest of it completely not. Now you can vary it in numerous ways, just using that. Right, so once you've actually done that, what you can do then, so I'm just gonna to go to filter and filter and just go there, Gaussian Blur again, again, Rasterize again, and click OK. And what you can do, you can go to Edit and you think, I can fade. Well, I can't unfortunately fade. So that's the one feature you can't do with those smart objects. So it would be useful, but uh, unfortunately you can't fade those. So I'm just going to disable that. And you can just go over there to Layers, disable it if you want, or you can double click on that, the properties, and you can then change so you can actually do, in a sense, the fade there. You can actually fade it, that's the key thing there, just by just changing the properties there. So the blending options. So change that to difference, see, and so on and so on. You can change, also change the opacity if you want, put that to 100% or 50%, whatever. Now, it's gonna undo all that. What you can do then, of course, you can go to a layer, and then flatten image. So now once you've got a flattened image, you can obviously, now if I bl apply a blur at this point, I could apply a blur to the picture as well as the rest, but I want it just to the text. So just use a rectangular marquee tool to select or other selection tools to be applied, and then apply with the Gaussian blur just to that area. So you've got the blur there, so you can see the design's being blurred. Now what you can do, then you can use the fade, so you can go to edit and fade Gaussian blur, and you can change the opacity of the blur so just go up there, 78, so whatever. Set to multiply, blending mode, etc. You can go run through a whole, some are better than others. Some are not so effective, depending on the backgrounds and other things. So cancel at that point. And now, right, just got that flattened image. And again, what you can do, you can actually select using the rectangle and just select just a part of the design. So just quickly blur that bit. And then you deselect it and so you've got that word standing. What you can also do, I'm just gonna go back again, you can go to the blur tool, that's another option. So there's blur tool, and you can set, obviously, using any number of brushes, there's a whole range of brushes and graphic extras, so you can find those, and just apply the brush, just apply it to a very local area. So you can just, if you want to work, like say, standing or end, or you can obviously just do it to standing, just apply the brush stroke very quickly to that. And again, you can use blend, a few blending modes, and as well as obviously a vast range of different brushes that can be used. Now you can add some more type, you can use a standard, there you just create that to add some more type. Again, you can see it's a layer, and just quickly click on the layer, and again, straight down to filter and blur. Again, you can use any of the other blurs as well, so you don't have to use just the cows and blur, I'm just using that for example. And then you've got to set there, click OK. Very simple. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.